Hello, Sagittarius. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys? This is your love and life reading focused on the second half of February from the 16th all the way through the 29th this year. Um, it's a leap year, so we get an extra day in February. How cool is that? So these are the two card decks that I have chosen for this reading, guys, this time around. We've got the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight, and then we'll grab some insight from the Messages of Love deck by All Things Intuitive. This is general as always, guys. It's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from this reading, Sagittarius, whatever makes sense for you and your life, your situation, your relationship, and let go of what does not make sense to you at this time. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I will always have a list of the card decks that I used for this reading, guys. All right, so let's get started and let's take a look and see what we have for you for the second half of the month. Let's start off with the focus messages. Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius, for cross watchers, anybody else who's been guided to tune in and gain insight from this reading. Let's take a look and see, guys, what needs to come forward here. All right, I'm guided to this one here. Emotional whirlwind, Sagittarius. Affected, dramatic, unstable. So if you are tapped into that energy, going through some sort of emotional whirlwind at that time, we'll dig a little bit deeper to see where that's coming from. This could also be tied into your person, whoever it is that you're focused on for this reading. It could be that that is the space that they are occupying at this time. So let's grab some messages of love, focusing on your person, whoever it is that you're focused on for this reading. Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius, please. So we'll grab a couple focus messages from this deck and see what else needs to come through. I'm guided to this one here. Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. And if you are going through that emotional whirlwind tied into a, a particular connection that you're focused on for this reading, Sag, it's definitely gonna take some time. Let's grab one more. Different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision that as well could be contributing to this very unstable energy between the two of you. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's see what else is contributing to that energy at this time. Let's grab some insight from the Infinity Oracle by Fire Witch Tarot. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius for the second half of February, 16th through the 29th. In love, in life. Let's take a look and see how this unfolds for you. For Sagittarius, please, angels and spirit guides. What needs to come through for this reading at this time? Bad intentions, okay? That could be contributing to that emotional whirlwind, especially if somebody has really hurt you, Sag. And as you can see, you know, there's that devil energy coming forward from that card. And the devil in traditional tarot could be tied into Capricorn energy, somebody that has created a stagnant or feeling like you're trapped in a situation or that's perhaps how they feel. It could be a mutual thing between the two of you. At the end of the day, what's coming through here is that you guys are just not on the same page and whatever intentions they had going into this relationship, they weren't good to begin with. So they may have had an agenda of some sort going into this connection with you, Sagittarius. And so that is what's created that very dramatic and unstable energy between the two of you. We also have letting go. Perhaps you've already done this, or this is what you need to do at this time. Especially if the foundation in this connection just is a little bit rocky and unstable at this time. We do have spiritual coming through here. So I feel this connection has definitely challenged your faith in them. 
perhaps you feel as though they are somebody that you just can't trust at this time. You've turned a prayer perhaps over this, just feeling really challenged in regard to this connection. We have violin coming through, playing the victim. Somebody, this person could be playing the victim here. And it's one of those things where no matter what it is that they say to you, Sagittarius, it's almost like you've just tuned them out. You know what it's like when, like in the movies, like when somebody's just, just spewing out a bunch of nonsense and you're just kind of numb to it all and you've got the violins playing in the background, it's, it's almost like, you know what, just stop talking because I'm not buying anything that you're saying right now. We have cheers right after that. So you guys could have certainly shared some very good times together. We have soul sisters coming through here. It could certainly be reflective off of a same-sex relationship for some of you. Feeling that this person could have definitely been a soulmate. But I feel here that they may have disappointed you along the way. And you guys ultimately are not on the same page here. You're just not wanting the same things. Next message is forbidden fruit. This relationship could have just been off limits from the beginning, Sagittarius. But for whatever reason, you just felt drawn to this person. But, you know, it's coming through, letting you know that it's time to let go of this. Look at this next card. No fucks given. Let it go. Move on. And if this is your person coming through with this energy, Sagittarius, you know, they just don't care enough for you to make this effort towards salvaging this relationship. We have Ladies Night coming through. So for some of you guys, especially my Divine Feminines, you're just enjoying life right now, trying to sever ties from this connection. Again, you guys are not on the same page. You and this person don't share the same vision. And if you're slowly just trying to work your way through life and just trying to enjoy life once again, spending time with your friends, getting out there and mingling and just having a social life once again could be tied into that. Look at this. No sex, cutting sex out. The intimacy here has been non-existent, I feel. It's been cut out. This could have been you, Sagittarius, that completely severed ties with this person. If you are working on letting them, letting them go, good for you, because it's coming through that they're just not putting in the proper effort to be able to salvage this relationship here. Maybe they have tried to reach out to you, but you're not having it. You are not having it. So maybe you've blocked this person. Maybe you are just not wanting to talk. You're not wanting to pick up your phone. You're not wanting to respond to texts or phone calls or voice messages or what have you. We have hidden treasures here. This relationship at one point in time could have been something super special. And perhaps if your person came into the whole relationship with those bad intentions right from the get-go, then it was just not meant to last. It could have just all been about the physical aspect of things for, for this person. 
that's a potential here. You know, it's almost like you wanted more and they just couldn't give you that. They couldn't give you what it was that you needed or wanted here. So let's add to this. The Pining Rose Volume 2 Twin Flame Ascension deck by Calico Moon. Let's add to this. Let's see what else. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Sagittarius for the second half of February. 16th through the 29th. In love and life, please bring it forward. What else do we need to know for you, Sagittarius, at this time? For the second half of February, let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here. But I do feel your person's been wanting to reach out and you're just not wanting to talk at the moment. We do have shadows here. Falling right below bad intentions and forbidden fruit. Something that is in the shadows is, it could be tied into deception, dishonesty, lies, affairs. It's in the shadows for a reason. It's not being illuminated. It's not out in the open. We have insight coming through here. So perhaps, Sagittarius, you have finally come to your own realization and have finally gained clarity over what it is that you need to do. And what you need to do is let go and no longer give a shit about what's going on in this person's life because they don't seem to care as much about the connection either. It's almost like they're just very careless in their intentions of what it is that they wanted. And you certainly deserve better than that. Beginnings is right after that. I feel part of your healing here, Sagittarius, is just starting over. Moving away from a person, a connection that is no longer giving you what it is that you need by way of a relationship. We have uplift, this new beginning. We have two roses right next to each other. And I feel here that this is a gift that you have to give yourself. This new beginning, that's what's going to lift up your spirits and take you onto the next chapter of your life. But in order to get there, you gotta go through that grieving process. And that's the next card coming forward, mourning. Because again, there were times when things were actually good between you and this person, but you have to go through that grieving process of acknowledging that this has come to an end and it's time for you to move forward. We also have stolen coming through here. So perhaps this is what happened that there was outside interference in your relationship and somebody ended up stealing your person away from you. That's a part of the energy that's being reflected in this reading for you, Sag. Okay, so let's add to this. Let's add some tarot to this and let's see what else needs to come forward. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. You do not have to identify with a twin flame connection. That's just the name of the card deck. Angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius for the second half of February 16th through the 29th, 2020. In love and life. What else, please? We have the higher found spiritual advisement. You know, it's totally tapped into that. And I feel this person after a while was just somebody that you could not trust. And perhaps there was a time too, Sagittarius, where when you pictured a future with this person and that ended up not being the case, you were thinking long-term and they just were not on that same page. You guys just did not have the same vision 
We do have the Ten of Pentacles right after that. So your person could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Financially speaking, though, Sag, things are ultimately going to be improving in regard to your livelihood, your money matters, your finances. This is ultimate achievement, especially tied into your wealth, your investments, and establishing yourself in your life. So that part of your life, I feel, has the capability of turning around. You've got the world card right after that. So this cycle here needs to come to completion. You need to be able to allow this part of your life to come to closure so that you can start over, have a new beginning elsewhere. Because this is triumph for you. This is bringing you success, celebrations, happiness, positive experiences in your life, goals that you have the capability of achieving. Part of the energy too, interestingly enough, for some of you, is that if you're willing to work through this partnership, and if you guys can get onto the same page, then there's a potential with the world card being represented here for you and your person to start over. So the potential is here to work through these challenges. We do have that beginnings card coming through here. But that's not for everybody because I feel for some of you, you have decided to let this go and just start fresh elsewhere. Good for you. The world card too is unexpected money right next to 10 of pentacles. So that's a good thing regarding your finances once again. But you're ultimately gonna be okay, Sagittarius. You're gonna come out on top. You've got the world on your side. Queen of Pentacles coming through here. So we've got more Earth energy, more Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Very nurturing energy from this. This could be your mother, a mother figure in your life or the mother of your children. Could be an earth sign and then you've got the wheel of fortune destined opportunities Sagittarius that is your very own energy with fire energy right there so this is bringing you good luck here not only do you have the world on your side you've got the wheel of fortune on your side as well so if there is no movement that's going on here, especially if you're choosing to let go of this connection, you can create movement for yourself moving forward, either on your own and finding happiness elsewhere, or for those of you who are open to working on this partnership, this movement and change of luck is indicative of the two of you working this out. But you guys have to be on the same page. This is giving you the abundance that may be lacking at this time. So future-wise, things are looking up for you. With the Wheel of Fortune being represented here, guys, anything is possible. Even impossible situations. Part of the problem in this whole situation might be tied into that Seven of Swords because somebody betrayed you, somebody was being deceptive with you. Sagittarius, it could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But you also have the star card on your side. Universal alignment, beautiful. That's tied into Aquarius energy. So your person could be an Aquarian, that's for some of you guys. There's still hope here. This is faith restored. 
But in order to get to that star energy, you guys have got to welcome in some healing energies into this equation between you and your person. It's a wish come true. It's going to take some time, but this wish can come true. Make a wish. It might just happen. You've got some amazing major arcanas that are coming through in this reading. So again, anything is possible with the Wheel of Fortune. With the Star card, impossible situations are possible. So right now, things might look like it's the end of the road for you and this person, or whatever aspect of your life seems like there's just no hope. There is hope. There absolutely is hope. And in regard to your love life, Sagittarius, the star card is telling you that you and your person still have love for each other. So if you're both wanting to work on this, you can have it. You can have that second chance, that new beginning. But you guys have got to work on it together. It can't just be you wanting it and it can't just be them wanting it. You both have to equally work on this and put in the effort and both want it as much as the other. Okay, so let's add some Romance Angels to this. Let's see what else needs to come forward for this reading. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius for the second half of February 16th through the 29th. Taking it back to Love and Romance. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here. You guys have definitely been through the ringer in this regard. Okay, Emotional Whirlwind. Somebody with bad intentions, forbidden fruit, third parties, cheating, and fidelity, somebody cutting sex out, somebody hiding things here. So you guys have got some obstacles to climb over, but if you're willing to work on it, if you're you both are and you can get onto the same page, you can get through this, but it's gonna take some time. And that's why we've got that patience card that's reflected there as one of the focus messages that came through in the very beginning. Look at that new love, okay? So for those of you who are choosing a different direction and just wanting to let, let this go and just start fresh elsewhere, you have a new love connection that can come in for you. That's definitely a possibility. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, whether you've started seeing somebody new recently, it could be reflective, reflective off of that. Or this is what's coming in for you once you start a new path for yourself. Now for others, this new love could certainly be a second chance at love with your person, a second opportunity. And look at this next card. Here we are. Reconciliation followed by true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. But again, whenever this reconciliation card comes forward in a reading, that does not apply to everybody because not everybody is wanting that. So this next message applies to you guys who really just want to let this person go. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And for those of you who have started seeing somebody new, just out in the dating scene, getting to know each other, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there are those of you who are open to this new love and new connection. Take your time really getting to know this individual and exploring where this could ultimately take you. They could as well be your romance of a lifetime. So let's see where this goes. All right, so we'll go ahead and grab some cards from the Lover's Oracle. We'll grab a few of them and whichever one you resonate with. Let's take a look and see what comes forward. So focusing on your person, Sagittarius, let's take a look and see what it is that they need to communicate to you at this time. Okay, let's grab this bottom of the deck. Let's see what we have. Okay, we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. This is so needed, guys. It's so needed for some of you. It's so interesting how we have this. Secret admirer. 
someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. For those of you who, again, are seeing somebody new or are interested in just getting back out on the dating scene, you might be single at this time, there could be somebody out there who already has feelings for you, whether you know this or not. Okay? Next message, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. You've already been through the turmoil with this person. It's time for a new chapter. And there is a blessing that's coming in for you, Sagittarius. And I feel here that this star card could certainly help bring that blessing in your direction, as well as the Wheel of Fortune, as well as the World card. They're all amazing major arcanas that are coming through here in this reading. We do have surrender coming through as well. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Absolutely. Let it go. You got to do what's right for you. And if this relationship is a done deal, then your happiness is elsewhere. We also have friendship coming through here. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. For me, whenever this card comes forward, in regard to a relationship that's going through some challenging times, sometimes when you reconnect, you just got to start from square one. Start back from where you guys just first connected as friends. Just basic and simple. Tear down all of those walls connected to all of the drama that went down and just start over as friends and take it from there. And that's what's going to help you guys rebuild the foundation for your relationship and make it so much stronger than what it was. Next message. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Exactly. And that's why... We have the patience card that came through as a focus message. Everything will unfold in divine timing. That divine timing isn't up to us. It's up to the universe when all of this happens. It's up to the world to make it all happen when it's meant to. It's a process that's going to happen on its own time. So you got to wait. Okay, last one. My beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. This is what your person wants to communicate to you at this time, Sagittarius. Despite the challenges and the drama, there's this connection spiritually that cannot be denied between the two of you. And for those of you resonating with that, you still feel it. It might annoy you sometimes that you still feel it because of what happened here, but it's something that maybe you just can't shake. And that's part of the reason. That's part of the reason. All right, guys. So let's add some dialogue to this with the 5D Love Messages Oracle deck by Calico Moon. So we'll grab a few from this deck. Sagittarius, whichever messages you happen to resonate with, let's take a look at that. This could be your person expressing these things to you or it's a part of what's in your heart that you've been wanting to say. So let's take a look at that. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius for the second half of February. 16th through the 29th in love, in life. Who needs to speak up here? Who needs to speak up here? Please bring it forward. There's definitely stagnant energy here. All right. Let's grab this bottom card. All right, let's take a look and see what it is that your person wants to say to you or what it is that you want to say. First message, 
why don't you reach out to me? Okay, so they're clearly wondering, why haven't you reached out? For some of you guys, you're just not ready. And for some of you, you don't want to. Considering everything that's gone down here, that emotional whirlwind that you're still trying to process and go through. So why don't you reach out to me? I feel you're just not ready here. You know, it's like the opportunity is there to communicate. But if you're just not ready to do that, you got to do it on your own time when you're ready. And as this card states, don't rush into it. If you feel you need to wait, then wait. And they just have to have patience. Next message. You have been on my mind. They've been thinking about you. No doubt about that. They have been definitely focused on you. Next message. I'm too focused on other things right now. So for those of you who have been wondering perhaps why it is you that hasn't heard from this person, it's more than likely they're involving themselves in situations that they should not. Forbidden love, forbidden fruit. They've got their own agenda that they're dealing with. So for those of you who are dealing with an ex that perhaps you've just been wondering, you know, why haven't I heard from this person? Especially if they were the kind of person that just blew up your phone all the time and all of a sudden maybe that stopped and you're wondering... You know, they're coming through here letting you know, I'm just too focused on other things right now. Well, those other things might be other people. And that's a part of what it is that you need to let go of. That's a part of the cycle that you need to release and allow closure and completion to happen. Next message. I still have more to learn from my karmic partner. Yeah, so let them learn those lessons. That is their burden to carry, not yours. Next message. Do you think about me too? For those of you resonating with that, I do feel, Sagittarius, that you do think about this person. They think about you as well. You have been on my mind. I just feel for some of you guys, being on different pages, it's just not the right time to come together. When it's time, it can happen and it can flow. But for now, it might not be the right time, especially if you guys are still on very different pages here, as that focus message states. And these next two cards are very similar. I'm spying on you. I'm keeping tabs on you. More than likely on social media, they are checking you out from a distance. And for those of you with the secret admirer for my singles, there's somebody out there that's keeping tabs on you, checking you out. That is a possibility here for some of you. All right, guys. So let's add to this. I feel that there's more dialogue that needs to come forward here. So let's grab some additional insight from the Divine Love and Separation deck by Fire Witch Tarot. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius for the second half of February 16th through the 29th. So we'll grab a few more from this deck and whichever message you happen to resonate with. Let's take a look at that. So focus on your person once again. Let's take a look and see what it is that they need to say to you. Because I feel these messages were just touching on the surface of what it is that they need to say. So let's grab some additional insight. Let's dig a little bit deeper as to what it is that your person needs to say to you. Let's see what else they need to say. Okay, let's grab this bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what we have. 
What do we have here? First message. I know our love will endure and withstand any situation. So this person still has hope. That star card is giving you that hope. So is that will of fortune. So even though you've been through a very difficult situation with this person, they're telling you, I know our love will endure and withstand any situation. Next message, looking at your photos gives me comfort. Perhaps this is something that you've been doing as well, Sagittarius. But yeah, they look at your photos and it offers them comfort, especially those who are still keeping tabs on you more than likely on social media and or they might have pictures of you guys together. All right, next message. Why be selfish in not allowing yourself to be seen and loved? Allow it. This is a question that they are asking you. They want to see you in the 3D, you know, not just in pictures. But if you've blocked this person on social media, more than likely they're unable to, to do that, possibly. So they're wanting you to allow it. Why be selfish and not allowing yourself? Be seen and loved, allow it. Next message. I want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. Yeah, they want to talk. They're ready to talk. The question is, Sagittarius, are you on the same page? Are you now ready to open up those lines of communication here? Because again, it's here when you're ready. They definitely want you to reach out, okay? Next message, mystery. There's something so mysterious about you. Part of the reason for that mystery could be, Sagittarius, is that you just don't want to engage. You don't want to interact with your person at this time. So they don't quite know what's going on with you, and maybe that's why they feel the need to be checking you out from a distance, spying on you. Next message. I'm aware that I need to modify my behavior before I return. So they know that they've got some work to do, Sagittarius. There's a reason why you guys are having such a difficult time right now. So they know that they've got some work to do on their end before they can even approach you with the opportunity of a reconciliation. Look at this last message. hey, it's not over yet, okay? They don't want things to be over. They're telling you it's not over. And perhaps, Sagittarius, you don't want it to be over. It depends on truly what it is that you are wanting in regard to this connection. Because the possibility of coming back towards each other is here. If you want a second chance, if you want to start over, you've got enough cards coming through here for this reading, Sagittarius, letting you know that that's a possibility. But it can only happen if you guys are on the same page. If you're not, then let it go. You know in your heart of hearts if it's time to let it go or not. All right, guys. So let's close this out with some final messages from... The guardian angels angels and spirit guides please for Sagittarius for the second half of February 16th through the 29th some final thoughts please some final thoughts for you guys let's take a look we'll grab a few from this deck take whichever one you are guided to take let's Grab this bottom of the deck as well. There we go. What do we have here? 
We've got believe. Be open to all possibilities and opportunities. Let go of preconceived ideas. There is nothing to fear. You are constantly surrounded by love. Start to believe in yourself and trust your instincts. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound, provided you are flexible and retain an open heart and mind. Believe all is possible. Exactly. Anything is possible, guys, and that already came through here, especially from that star card. You also have self-criticism coming through. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive, loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you are less than perfect. Remember that God and divine perfection exists in all things. Okay, so if you tend to be a little bit nitpicky with yourself, Sagittarius, this is a reminder for you to see yourself through more loving, compassionate eyes. To love yourself. Next message, we have conflict. Feelings, which you have suppressed for a very long time, are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. And this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart. Do what you would love, not what you think you should. Exactly. You got to follow your heart, guys. Follow your instincts. Follow what it is that your heart is guiding you towards. Because you got to be true to yourself. Next message, we have acceptance coming through here for you. There is nothing in your life to fix, only the disowned parts of you that yearn for love and acceptance. You are beautiful just as you are, regardless of any faults you may perceive you have. You are an eternally radiant being of light. Accept all that you are and just be you. When you truly accept yourself, your whole world will magically and lovingly transform. I really feel some of you guys really needed to be reminded of this and to hear that message. And finally, guys, we end your reading Sagittarius with a positive outcome. At this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive, and you will create a positive outcome. It all boils down to your thoughts, guys. And I always say in my readings, you know, going back to that law of attraction, what it is that you put out there energetically is what you will attract back to you. So think with positivity. Think from a place of knowing that you can manifest what it is that you focus on. And that's what you will attract back to you. This positive outcome is coming through here for you, Sagittarius. So take advantage of the energies that are coming in. It all boils down to what you believe and the attitude that you are putting out there. So remain positive, guys. There's a lot of good things that have the capability of coming in for you regardless of the challenges that have been presented in this reading for you, especially in regard to your love life. If you want to work it out, I feel you and your person need to be on the same page to be able to do that, to open up lines of communication, to welcome in a second chance and a reconciliation here. You can have it, but they need to want it as well. All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this reading for the second half of February. I do hope that this was something that you were able to resonate with, or at least parts of it. If you're interested in your own personal private reading with me, all of that information is down below in the description box, and I will be back real soon with more readings for you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Take care.